originally when we went down to the Barbican we thought to ourselves wow what a fantastic space and then we thought what a great opportunity for us we started doing a lot of research as to what were the coolest things happening in the UK and what were the food trends that were happening out in the US and we thought to ourselves we've got to bring these trends into the UK we've got to put them in the Barbican it's just the most fantastic opportunity what the brief from the Barbican was and from Compass Food who are delivering the food offer within the spaces was to basically upgrade what, what was there existing. The current restaurants on the ground floor and the first floor are fairly disconnected to the uh, main spaces because they've been a little bit uh, maybe neglected um, over, over the years. You know, it's an iconic building and to really create something that is really freestanding, has a true market feel to it, will allow people to come in and really create their own experience depending on what they're in the mood to eat. We are very, very excited at the prospect of changing our restaurants and attracting new and additional customers. Um, typically people who come to the barbecue if they've come to see a show or um, a concert going on in the actual halls um, and you know, obviously it just kept somewhere to come and grab something to eat before they go through to the theatre. Um, we're trying to make this, you know, it's going to become a destination bar and restaurant, um, somewhere to come just for the sake of coming to have something to eat and drink. The food offer downstairs um, it's based on a much more interactive experience with the food and the clients. It is still a grab-and-go, essentially, cafeteria, um, but there is much more interaction. These are going to be the places to be seen. What you've got downstairs with the whole food market, uh, food hall, uh, a bustling environment. It'll be, a, it'll be a street market, simply just inside of a building. The whole concept behind it is to really create that feel that you're going from stall to stall and picking out the freshest ingredients that are available in the marketplace. So we have a deli area at the front with a barista counter which gives you the opportunity to do your grocery shopping if you live in the Barbican Arts Centre. You can come up pick your milk, do your breakfast shopping, have some cheeses or breads. You can take a takeaway coffee, you can sit outside or you can obviously then use the, the space itself. If you can imagine walking into a proper uh, food market you'll have all the various stalls of baked goods, you'll have uh, olive selections, you'll have cheeses, you'll have meats, and we'll have all of those simply contained in one area so you won't have to cover a large area geographically. The food hall is going to be um, sort of two areas. We're going to have the, as you come into the food hall, we'll have the sort of fresh produce, we'll have a wonderful array of great British products. And then as you move into the food areas, it'll be those same things that are prepared freshly every day with that same market quality produce that we're bringing in, as well as all, all the other specialty products that we'll be using. On the ground floor, we have these umbrellas. They're a, they're a tall steel post with a just over a three meter diameter perforated disc sitting on top. Um, then there's a secondary disc which sits on top of that, which is slightly off center. Both have been very high contrast colors, anthracite gray and white. Um, we have six of them on the ground floor terrace, and then we have another four on the, on the first floor terrace above. So visually, when you're down at the space, you immediately know that there is another food offer upstairs because it's graphic and it's bold, and it, it's a huge statement through those two spaces. One of the areas we put in the food hall was a book bank, an area where people can just come, relax. Uh, there's 200 books available at any one time. You can come, grab your cup of coffee, grab a book, sit down, relax. Uh, you can take the book away, take it away for a week, come back next week, drop it off, pick up another book. If you really love it, buy it. Although we have two very distinct spaces between the ground floor and the first floor, we wanted to have a strong connection um, design-wise. So we wanted to link the two spaces and let everybody know that there was these two food offers being run by the same people with the same quality of food. I think what makes the lounge and the food hall different is that it's, it's the whole idea it's going to be clean, um, fresh um, and also very stylish upstairs. When you go upstairs to the Barbican Lounge, you're entering a totally different different area from what you've seen in the food hall down below. Upstairs with the lounge, a very relaxed small plate dining establishment. What you've got is you've got uh, small plate dining and uh, whereas downstairs you've got the food market and, and a very free flow, this is a more organized sort of structured dining experience. Dine and Dash is a concept that we've, we've designed for upstairs and it's based off the small plate concept but what it is it's a combination of small plates that we've determined will go together very very well so people that may be in a bit of a rush pre-theater or on a, on a lunch meeting can order a, the set uh, Dine and Dash menu which is a selection of three of the small plates combined onto one larger plate. 
Uh, one of the key elements was the bar that come when you enter the door, the bar passes in and passes through onto the terrace. Its full extent is 14 metres. We haven't punctured the building, obviously, because it's listed, but we butt up against it to give the visual impression that the bar, that the bar is actually extended out to this line here. The sorts of things that'll, that will be on the menu uh, will vary from, from time to time, given what's in the market. So some days you may have a special that is uh, Indian food driven, because we've just gotten some special rice in, which is really exciting, because every time you come back, you'll have a unique experience. You take that coupled with the fantastic seating area that we have which is extensive and it overlooks the beautiful grounds of the Barbican area. This is the most unique features of the um, building here which is this massive 200 square meter terrace. It's within a completely sheltered and enclosed environment and it's in a very urban context so it's a very very unusual space. Running alongside the, the Barbican lounge we have a, an amazing terrace. Um, it's going to be very, um, we're going to have lots of shrubs and different plants out there. The idea that it's to reflect the actual Barbican. All of the apartments in the Barbican were designed purposely with window boxes attached to them, so this is supposed to be a walk-on window box, if you like, to connect it with the residential spaces around. The concept for the Barbican Food Hall and the Barbican Lounge was developed all about you. It's, it's a space for you. Use it how you want to use it. Don't be limited. Come and have fun. We are hoping that this great new food offer will be attracting a lot of new faces into the Barbican to show what, not only the, what we can do for the restaurants but also our great art offering within the Barbican Centre. Yeah, I think what's quite exciting is that we've brought something very new to the area, to the Barbican. Um, I don't think there's anything else in the area that's offering what we are offering currently and um, that's what makes it so special and definitely a place to come. To experience what, what we're creating at the Barbican, you've got this incredibly iconic building and what we're doing is we're taking the food offer and we're matching what they've created there in that experience. Whether you're in the food hall or you're upstairs uh, having small plates, either one of those experiences is going to be something unique. You're not going to find it anywhere else in any setting that's anywhere similar to the Barbican. Come now, what's keeping you? We've got the best food, the best vibe, amazing design, fantastic place to just come and chill out. We want to see you.